Day three of the Blue Ridge trip starts right now at Motor Travel USA. So day three of the Blue Ridge Parkway trip and I'm here. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. It was super dark before so I couldn't film anything. But it's supposed to be in the 70s and 60s all day today. Might get some rain, but this should be a great day. It doesn't look like rain until later, hopefully. But I'm looking forward to the 70s and 60s and riding on the Blue Ridge Parkway. I'll see you at the first stop. Just stopping really quick. I didn't have any breakfast, so I grabbed a drink and a granola bar from the gas station before I left. This is why I leave early in the morning. It's like the sky's on fire right now. All right, I'm gonna eat something and then head on out. point on Blue Ridge Parkway. It's actually a little nippy now. Got the shield up and the hand, the grip heater is on. But it's nice. It's not super cold. Probably 50s or 60s right now. But amazing day so far. No one's really on the road except the workers cleaning it up. And the leaves haven't really changed color or fallen yet. So I'm not really getting the color changes. That's probably a couple weeks from now. However, the road is pretty clean and not a lot of leaves on the road. So it's nice and safe. From Cherokee up to about here, they've been doing construction. So the roads were a little choppy, but I think it's done now. drink something, and then I'll get back on the road. Stunning. Actually, before I leave, I did just want to say, you want to talk about clearing your mind, come up on the Blue Ridge on a motorcycle, put on your favorite tunes, check out the scenery and go for an amazing ride. There's just nothing else like it that I've ever found. So the temperature is great. There's some crazy thick fog out. But that's okay. Just taking it a little slower. And luckily in this section, the center line is there where they were doing the construction. There was no center line. I'd probably pull over and wait for this to clear. I'll use that as a guide. But right now, <laughs> pretty thick. All right. Just wanted to share and back on the road. Made it to Asheville. Having some a late breakfast of Panera bread. Got an egg sandwich and some coffee. See how it is? An egg sandwich, some coffee. Both are pretty good. Panera's good. Usually I stay a little bit in Asheville, but not this time. Looks like the rain's coming. We've got some distance to cover. And the next stop will actually be another filming location, so. That should be the next thing you see. So I'm in Black Mountain now. Another three billboards filming location. This is the bar where he got his ass kicked. Talking to the possible killer. There it is from another angle. And the next stop's gonna be where the billboards were. Don't know if I'll be able to find it, but let's give it a shot. So I'm here at the location of the three billboards. They said it was along this road somewhere. So a big dump truck just interrupted me hauling ass down there. <laughs> and he just cruised down there. Anyhow. What I was saying 
This is the location of the three billboards. I mean, this totally looks like it from the shots I remember. Gotta definitely look for that. It's a long story. Okay. Hey. Okay. Hey. It's all lined with this fence right here. Might be a cow pasture as well. I do wonder if that's the house that she sits at. It's the only one kind of on a hill. And that looks like it would have an awesome perspective of the billboards right there. If you haven't seen the movie, I would recommend it. My wife and I went and saw it just kind of on a whim. We really knew nothing about it, but it's a great drama with the mix of comedy and they kind of need the comedy because the drama is super heavy. Pretty songs and pretty places. Next stop, I think Little Switzerland. Had rain and that thick fog for about the last hour. Not super heavy rain, a nice light rain, but still it adds to the toughness of driving. Somehow I made it to little Switzerland. There's a coffee shop up here. I'm just gonna go to that. But yeah, the fog and rain have been insane for quite some time, but it's still fun. Weather is good, very much like a northern fall. But I'm gonna warm up and get a cup of coffee. So that was good. It was a boar's head turkey sandwich. There's like a little bookstore coffee shop cafe right here. You hardly can see it. It's right off the parkway in little Switzerland. Still foggy out. I was hoping it would clear up a little bit, but it did not. So what? I think there's about an hour left till I hit Blowing Rock, my destination for today. Great day. Would rather not have the fog. I could deal with the rain. But oh well, that's fall on the Blue Ridge Parkway, right? See you at the next stop. made it to the hotel in Blowing Rock. The room is actually pretty big. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera. It's definitely bigger than a normal room. Traditionally decorated rather than modern. But nice nonetheless. Let's see if somebody's in here. Well, I'm checked in and unpacked in the hotel. Kind of glad to get out of this. Well, Blue Ridge Parkway is awesome. It's never too fun to be riding in this with 15 feet of visibility ahead of you sometimes. So this is right outside the hotel. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty nice. It's a little coffee shop and restaurants up the street, and that's where I'm walking to now. See you there. Here at Camp Coffee Roasters. Nice little shop, and got a cappuccino. I like mine with a little cinnamon, or a lot of cinnamon if it falls out of the container. Well, that was good, walking back to the hotel now. like little log cabins right here. Yeah, Blowing Rock's another town I've never stopped in except to get gas. So kind of glad I'm stopping here, checking it out. I have a couple friends who come up here for the holidays. 
It looks nice from what you can see. Just ran into another biker. He sat the same. He was coming from the north. And I guess this fog is all along the parkway. 10 to 20 feet visibility. He needed uh, to stop and rest a bit. Nice little gazebo at the hotel I'm staying at. The grounds are really well kept. The rain is relaxing when you're off the bike. See the rain hit the leaves, fall through the trees. One thing to note that I just thought of, there is no refrigerator or microwave in here. So, if you need a refrigerator or microwave, this probably wouldn't be a good hotel to stay at. Just had dinner at the Mellow Mushroom and Blowing Rock. Pizza was great. Have one in Winter Park, but don't get to it too often. But they do have good pizza and good atmosphere too. Gonna cover up the FJR now. I got this awesome Nelson rig cover. Packs down to this little teeny weeny ball, but is big enough to cover the entire FJR. And there you go, all covered up. That was a good day. There's not many bad days driving on the Blue Ridge Parkway. And any day you can drive in fog like this, and your bike and you are still in one piece, that's a good day.